Hello and welcome to another VCross unboxing. Today with Curiosity Diva VCross P05. And yeah, I did open one box recently on stream, on my live stream. And I got pretty happy and lucky with my pulls because there are like a few, a few playable SR cards like the H21 Natural Element Queen or Signy Level 3 in blue. There's also the Diabrite, but yeah, a red Signy that got printed in the double heroine stack. So she's like the least important of these. And yeah, another one is Gay Bulk or Ga Gaia Bulk. And she's a white level three Signy. Yeah, I I was lucky with my my first box on stream and got the H21 once. I think I want her like at least one or even like two more times. And I also got the Diabride. The SR that I wanted that I didn't pull was the uh, Guy Bulk. So yeah, I really hope she's in this box. Or yeah, maybe I will just have to to pick up the single cards when I get the opportunity to to buy them here in Germany. <laughs> I still really enjoy opening the boxes, but they are expensive. And even if I like to get the lower rarities parallel foils, yeah, I I just cannot open boxes until I get all my cards, of course. Typhoon Doom Devo. So and there should be like one, is it like secret rare? At some point they changed the guaranteed hit. It's either a secret rare or it's a LR guaranteed per box. I didn't look it up, which would be like my favorite for this. Secret rare. Ah, it's also a little bit confusing. Yeah, I remember it like in, on TCG player. When I want to select the secret rares, it's not really showing me all the secret rares. It's only showing me one secret rare. Maybe I'm just not smart enough to navigate on TCG player. Could be the case. We have Meth Rill, level 3 Signy with. At the beginning of your attack phase, if the total level of Signy on your field is even, oh, math, you may pay two white and one colorless Anna if you do return target Signy on your opponent's field to its owner's hand. So even, so usually you have like a two level threes and one level two. Hmm. Okay. But pretty expensive with like three Anna. Kind of expensive. Miku Miku 2. Get bulk. Now this is this is a funny artwork. Uh, Uriel Blessed Doomed Angel. It's just a, a big level 2. Pygmy which can pay for black and white. From the... I think from the pieces there's like no piece in this set that's really exciting me or that I need to build decks with. He is a playable card. Like level 2 Signy for 10k, so pretty basic, like no effect, but he has the life burst effect of you may pay one colorless if you do vanish target Signy on your opponent's field. So yeah, she's very good because the Signy you vanish doesn't have to be upped. So that's a nice addition. And there's also, you don't have to play you don't have to pay red so you can even like splash the card in in other decks that are not heavy red that's really good and our first sr is hameln and it's like funny because like hameln is a is a town in germany or like the yeah the red catcher is based on it right and i should know this like yeah it's oh it's even like a oh man it's a the city's not even that far away. Ah, so yeah, Hameln, like the name, it's a German town. But yeah, what is she doing? The auto effect is whenever the Signy attacks, your opponent may discard two cards. If they do negate the attack, ooh, okay. The second auto effect is at the beginning of your attack phase, you may pay double blue. If you do turn target Signy in front of the Signy face down, at the end of this turn, if a Signy is not in the same position as the Signy turned face down, this way, turn that Signy face up. If 
However, if there is a signet in the same position, put the signet turned face down this way into the trash. I still don't really get like all this face down stuff, to be honest. So when a when a signet is turned face down, it's basically like there is no signet. I really have to, I have to put this card to the side and ask someone who who knows more about V cross than me. To I I have read like effects like this multiple times by now. And I'm always a little bit confused with how these interactions work with like face down. We have the second SR, it's Gaia. The auto effect is at the beginning of your attack phase, if there are three or more angels signy on your field, and I charge one. So she's a green. So you usually would like put her in a in a deck with white because white has a lot of nice angels. And the auto effect at the end of your turn, add up to one target angel signy from your Amazon to your hand. And the third auto effect is at the end of your turn, you may pay to colorless. If you do, put target angel signy from your trash onto your field. The enter ability of signy put onto your field this way do not activate. So angel tribal. Yeah, maybe if you go like really strong into angel, but I haven't looked into like other angel builds. If this card really has a place. I think it's mostly like white, as far as I remember, it should be like a very heavy, heavy white builds with angels, but okay, this is so, this is so cute. It looks like from out of space, like, uh, that's S Astronauts Elrix. Uh, it's cost zero, you can play it only in your turn, and you gain the following ability for the duration of the game. If one of your abilities or effect refers to a level 3 or less Cosmos Signy in your deck and trash, you may treat it as a level 1. So like a combo piece that I have no idea at the moment how to, how to build around it. But yeah, of course I don't know all of the cards. I'm still, still kind of new to V-Cross and have to learn a lot. But there, there should be like a build around it. We have Deus Sunder for two colorless to crow. We can play her in the opponent's attack phase. Put the top card of your opponent's deck into the trash. Then put target Signy with the same level as the Signy put into the trash this way from your from your trash onto your field. Yeah, but the problem is when the first card in the opponent's deck is no Signy, you can't do anything. Yeah. Oh, I think she's not good at all. Don't really see how or why I should play her. There are a lot of better black assist Elrix for like five. Okay. No, I don't think I will. I will use this one. Yeah. Samurai artwork, always cool. During your opponent's turn, as long as your center Elric is white, this oh, I think she sees play in in white decks because a level one signal with eight k is difficult to remove. So yeah, she cannot she cannot be removed from like uh, Lancelot effects. Like Lancelot kills level uh, or until power five k, so she's bigger. She's too big to get removed by a Lancelot. And we get Eclipse. So this set looks like a kind of like a space themed set. That's cool. I didn't realize that when I opened my first box. But yeah, she has the enter ability. Put the top three cards of your deck into your trash. Then if all cards put into the trash this way are level one Signy, you may pay one colorless. If you do target Signy on your opponent's feet, it gets minus 10k. That's not a good effect. Uh, the auto effect is when this card is put into your trash from your deck, you may pay one colorless if you do at target level one signy without a guard from your trash to your hand. So there are like some cards with have like effect when they get milled. But I don't think that this is one that should be played. Really not a fan of the, the enter effect. And moon bites. 
Are we? Yes. I first. Gaia Bulk. Uh, she has the constant ability. Your center Elric gains once per turn auto. When this Elric's attack, put target Sydney on your opponent's field into its owner's trash. So yeah, Anna Denial. And the auto effect, at the beginning of your attack phase, you may down and up white Sydney on your field if you do draw a card. So yeah, maybe you, you have like a, a wall in front of one of your Sydney's or one of your lanes and you don't want to attack into it. Or like you can't really get through it. So, but of course you don't want to have your your Signies upped because when they are up, they get removed easily through like life burst effect, and you can make use of them with the, this is like a very nice uh, nice card you can use in multiple situations. So yeah, I can understand why people want this card or why this card is more on the expensive side, and we get a nice servant of I think it's Miku Miku. Really cute. I like. It. Usually you get like I, I recently opened one box and I got two foiled the servants or like guards. That was really cool, but usually I think there's only like one one servant. Ah that's really that's a nice artwork too. Don't think this one was playable, but I I just like the parallel falls, the big artwork, the nice colors. Uh, she has the enter ability, one white, and I look at the top three cards of your deck. Reveal a white Sydney from among them and add it to your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. And the constant ability, the Sydney on top of this card gets one plus 1k power. So yeah, you can rise on it, of course. Top three, reveal a white Sydney. Yeah. Don't really know if this sees play, but... It's a really beautiful artwork. Uh, yeah, again, we have this vanish effect, life burst. Valkyr. Mahu Mahu, zero. Hirana, step towards the. And the second piece for two green main phase. You have two or more green Elrics on your field, so heavy green deck. Choose one of the following inner charge four. Then add up two target cards from your Amazon to your hand. Uh, the second effect is up two target green Signy on your field, gain Lancer. Oh, until end of turn. That's actually cheap. Like usually to give. So yeah, this this would be like a heavy, like green Stompy, I would call it in Magic. So like a big Signy green deck, getting a lot of Anna. But for two, for two green Anna giving two Signy Lancers, Lancer is uh, good, a good price. Like Lancer is expensive and yeah, not bad. Nabino and what is she doing? Okay, she's just like a, a mana fix Signy, like double, double color. Blue and black. So yeah, I would. Yeah, the the second uh, SR. I I want the H two one. I haven't counted how many how many SR were in the box already. I just have the feeling there should be like one or two more. So yeah, of course you cannot get, or at least so far I never had this happen to me that I got one SR twice in a box. I think this would have been like an error box. You usually only get one of them, so... Oh, another assist of Yuka Yuka. Main phase or attack phase for three colorless. When target Sydney on your opponent's feet gains, the Sydney cannot attack until the end of... Oh yeah, this is like the defensive assist, but your opponent can discard three cards. Or yeah, target Signy on your opponent's field gained the Signy cannot attack. Or your opponent has to pay three. I'm not sure. Like she if she would be cheaper, like maybe one colorless and a cheaper, she would be kinda good. 
So of course you give your opponent the option and usually usually with this defensive you really want to stop the attack. You don't want to give your opponent the, the option to still attack because then most of the times you're dead. So it's all, always a little bit awkward with these defensive assists that say no, don't attack, but um, or maybe do, do, just pay this. I think you usually would tend to play like the MC Lion Disrespect or the Madoka Clap, of course, in blue. Okay, where's the where's the secret rare? Maybe in this pack? Could be a secret rare. I just have no idea what I'm hoping for. Oh, music car. Level three. Spicy spicy artwork. What is she doing? Uh, once per turn, auto effect is during your turn when another Elric on your field grows. Target Signy on your opponent's field gets minus 5k. Now that's a little bit awkward. So you would try to have like assist Elrics that you play later in the game when she's already crewed to level 3. Oh, there are like some music notes in the background. Maybe you can catch it. This is really cool. Um, yeah, textured music notes. But yeah, the, the second auto once per turn effect is during your opponent's turn when another Elric on your field grow, grows, add target Black Signy from your trash to your hand. And the once per game is for one white or one, one colorless, I always say white, one colorless Anna. Return target assist Elric on your field without attack phase and whose crow cost isn't zero to your Elric deck. So yeah, you you kind of want to build with assists and yeah, assist Elrics that you use them later in the game. And then you can return one, which is not like a defensive assist that you play in your opponent's turn. I I think there's like too much too much to build around and not enough use. Like there are too many Elrics that have a once per turn effect that you can use multiple times and it's not like so awkward to build around. I know it feels too too complicated to build, to be honest. But it's a really nice artwork. I really like it. Another piece. Red zone. Uh, you have two or more red Elric. Oh, is this like a set where it's like heavy double color? I didn't know that. So let's check. Uh, target red Signy on your field gains Assassin for two red. Discard up to three cards and draw cards equal to the number of cards you discarded plus two. Oh, Assassin is nice. Maybe in a heavy, like in a double red deck, in a heavy Akko deck. This is actually not bad. Discarding cards and drawing extra cards. So yeah, last pack for this unboxing. And I didn't fix my webcam. It's, I just noticed that my face is super wide. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, embarrassing. But yeah, some last pack magic maybe. No, Tartarus. Another Black Angel. Looks more like a demon. But yeah, let's end the, the video with a force of will pack. For more unboxings, please check out my channel. And yeah, see you in my next unboxing. See? Ah, no, it's nothing. Thank you for watching. Bye.